We'll win, baby. Let's go. We're going to have a good time. Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be having a look at a new tank that is coming soon, I hope, from uh, Hellvape. It's called the MDRTA. I, I should have a video playing away here just now just to give you a quick look at it, but uh, I'll do close-ups and all that as we go along. But it's, uh, you know, it's 24 millimeters in diameter, holds two milliliters of juice, but it has a really funky airflow thing going on, which... Uh, which I really enjoy using. It's just nice to see something different in an RTA these days that hasn't been done before. There's possibly somebody out there that will tell me that yes, this has been done before, but I can't remember seeing it. Price for this, I, I honestly don't know. They, they never gave me any pricing for it just now, and I'm not 100% on the release date. But uh, I'm vaping away with mine just, mine just now. This is, uh, I've got this set up with a 0 0.4 ohm coil, it's a restricted direct lung. Uh, it's not full on cloudy this, it's mouth to lung restricted direct lung. But I'll go through the various sizes and so on when we do the close ups, which we'll do now. Now once again, just to be clear, this is I, what I think is going to be the final retail packaging. I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, and the price and release date I can't give you just now either. First things first, we have a bubble tank. Now I know how happy this makes everybody when we have bubble tanks, uh, but basically that is going to take this from two milliliter capacity out to four milliliter. Just unscrewing the deck and this should hopefully pop off of here. Listen, a little handy tip, if you ever changing glass out and you find it really tight, hold it in your hand just for a few minutes. You're just gonna warm that up, maybe like soften the tank, the, the O-ring here that's holding it. Uh, the last thing you want to do is to crack your glass. Put this on here, just give it a little spin as I'm putting it on. Pop the deck back in. And lo and behold, we have bubble tanks. Uh, just for a comparison, there's the, the two milliliter and here is the bubble four milliliter. You do get a flat headed screwdriver. A baggie with uh, O-rings and screws, lots of them. Also, you will get two coils. You'll get one for direct lung and one for mouth to lung. So that's a 0 0.7 and a 1.2 ohm coil included. I'm sorry, I don't know the specs on wire or anything like that. They did not supply that. We have a direct lung drip tip. Uh, it does come with standard. It comes with the mouth to lung drip tip on here, but we also get a direct lung one. And we get what they are calling a turntable. This is a spare one. There is one also installed in the device just now that is a different configuration, uh, but we shall show you how this all works in a second. Now you will see on the tank here that we do have a little arrow, which is not going to do anything because they've gone down the this route. You know, they've put a little notch on the end of their drip tips which is a safety feature uh, but uh, take that off and there we go you can then fill it up with juice and that is actually got a nice resistance to it there obviously using a standard 510 drip tip and you won't have to worry about it not being able to open uh, i'll just pop the direct lung one on so you can get a look here just now there you go with a direct lung one that can be a bit of a pain to get off, uh, but uh, me personally, I just use my own drip tips. Something I do have to say is that uh, I do find on my one uh, that I've been testing with, um, I can get all my bottles, uh, I can fill in here. You've seen this on many tanks now, uh, and I can have been using this fill with you know the slider. Uh, I do find that this, this lifts a little bit. You know, if I stick my nozzle in here and I pull it out, uh, and it gets caught, you can see that this is lifting here, which sometimes means that I have to get my finger in and, and kind of like make sure it's all pushed down and back in place properly. Uh, but so it, yes, it's just one of these little things that I have to point out. Now you'll have to excuse me if I've jumped a section here uh, because my camera stopped recording for some strange reason. And so I've gone back and pulled the coil out and well, here we go. Now the AFC down the bottom here, it's actually numbered which is strange, I've never seen it numbered before. Now it says one there, I don't think that's a one mil air hole. I'm almost positive that's like a 0 0.8 because we have one and then we go to two and that's definitely not a two mil air hole. That is, I think is one mil. I think we're going up to 1.2, we've got to say like a 1.6 up here. Uh, we keep going. In fact, it's easier if I just take this off. There we go. 
and I can show you all the air holes this way. So there you go, you see it's tiny. I'm sure it's 0 0.8. And we go up in steps here, and we go up to this here, which is going to give you a restricted direct lung. I'm not sure if they've actually, it's not in the manual. It doesn't give me the air hole sizes in the manual and I can only get my calipers in at a certain size here. But once again, I'm pretty sure it starts off from a 0.8 uh, and we can take it all the way up to restricted direct lung. Putting a coil in here is as is, is easy as it can be. These two holes here, flathead screws here, they don't move about. They occupy the full space in here so there's no crushing or you know wires getting snipped by mistake uh, I've no issues with the posts at all you can see we have this air hole underneath here but this is where the party piece comes in is these little turntables as they are calling them now you can see you've actually got a slot cut round inside here there's a little tab on the bottom of your turntable and this is just going to pop in here like so so you can have this air hole slot here. You can change this on the fly. So even if you have your coil in position here, you can still, you know, and uh, excuse me while I get my fingers in the way here, you can see I can spin this round here just now and change it to this. Now these are three 0 0.8 millimeter air holes here. In fact, what I'll do is I'll put up a little splash screen that will give you the, the, the sizes for both of these discs and uh, yeah, you get a better understanding of what the air hole sizes are. Now to get this review back on track, I think I put in a 0 0.8 millimeter coil and then we jumped onto me actually putting cotton in this. But just before we jump on, just to clarify again, you can change these on the fly. One thing I will say is you can, you know, I can get the edge of my screwdriver here and I can move this round, but you can see how it, it wants to lift. You have to keep pushing it down like that. So whilst it is a, a nice little feature, I do like it. Uh, just watch out for those little turntables actually lifting out when you're spinning them round. See how it's doing it there? Just keep pushing it down. And yes, you can do this with the coil in position. So I've cut my cotton on the, just on the inside of the, the inside of the outside edge. Does that make any sense? Uh, just on the outer edge of the RTA itself. But then I'm gonna cut it up at a 45 degree angle take it up like this and I'm left with that now I even with heavy VG and uh, a 50-50 I found I've had to use more or sorry less cotton than I normally would uh, it's quite strange even though you've got these you know big wells here and uh, you would think this would wick like bilio um, if I use it what I would consider a normal amount of cotton I get dry hits, it doesn't wick that great. So I'm just using a lot less cotton than I normally would. I mean, just poking that cotton down there, I mean, you would think there's no way that uh, this, this will just leak, but it doesn't. Uh, and you can see there, I can just see the cotton poking down through the wick hole and no more. Uh, that's as much as I use. Same on the other side, hardly using any. And that's what it looks like once it's finished. I'll prime this up. I'm going to be using some pistache from uh, Haystown Vapes, which is a very, very nice e-liquid, and I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Take my deck off the mod, then we're just going to screw this on here. Close her down. I know I'll get stick for saying this. I mean, having a bigger tank, brilliant. Four mil tank, so much better than two mil. God, it looks terrible. Uh, but anyway, there you go. You can see we've got MD written through here onto the, the chimney as well. And that's me. I'm going to just take this airflow down to its lowest. And what did we say? I re I'm sure that's 0 0.8. Probably wrong. But uh, I'm going to go with 0 0.8 just now. So there we go. We have one mouth to lung setup, a 0 0.8 ohm, 2.5 inner diameter coil. Uh, I'm using the four milliliter capacity tank on the Inokin MVP5. This is the, the Lusso by MBL Mods. And I have the two milliliter capacity tank on here. I've got a 0 0.8, three millimeter in that inner diameter fuse clapped in here. And I've got this fully open. So here we go. Uh, now I have, 
already had a, a mouth to lung coil on this and tried it out with different turntables and so on uh, but I thought it'd be easier for the review if I just had two on the go one mouth to lung one restricted direct lung and we'll start off with the restricted direct lung one everybody sets up their coils sets up their cotton and they're wicking differently uh, I did struggle with this one at the start, I really did, um, especially on restricted direct lung, getting it to wick well, even at the, my sweet spot is a 0 0.4 ohm coil, usually 2.5, 3mm in our diameter at 20-25 watts, that's, that's what I like. Even just at 25 watts, I was struggling to get this to wick properly. Uh, so I just started using, le every build was less and less cotton until it's almost like the Enduro, uh, Scrape Enduro. Uh, I just did the same build and there's barely any cotton going down into those wells. It's not leaked on me and it wicks so much better. If you're using 5050 PGVG, then obviously you will need a little bit more cotton. But uh, just now, 25 watts, 0 0.4 ohm. That's fully open. And I think that's about 4 by 2 mil, something like that. And that's got the most open um, air hole underneath the coil. That's, that's got some throat hit on it. It's quite surprising. The size of the chimney, uh, or the, the dome, or whatever you want to call it, inside, uh, looks really big. And But I'm getting more throat hit from this than I, I really would have thought. Okay. Mouth to lung. Uh, once again, remember coil size, 0 0.8 ohm. Uh, I, I'm down at 15 watts here just now. And, and that's so mouth to lung. That really is mouth to lung. Um, the tightest air hole it's got. And that is, <laughs> once again, that's got some throat hit on it, and it's um, flavor's brilliant. This, this is there's no shame to this at all. There's no shame to this at all. Uh, I'm being completely blunt as always. Uh, it is the you know the post system and uh, the airflow going in it is nothing new. You've seen it all before. The little turntable thing is, I like. I think it's a great idea. I mean, I can go from. And you can use your nail once you get some e-liquid onto the turntable. It does do, you know, it spins, does that 180 quite easily. And I can go from that really open air hole to a more diffused air hole underneath the coil. But you have so much adjustability with this. It, it's really clever. I, I like what they've done and I love the flavour from this as well. <laughs> it's not shit. Definitely not shit. Me personally, I would have been happier if it had been, even with the 2mm, uh, if it had been uh, 22 millimeters in diameter and just a little bit higher, I would have been happier. 24 millimeter, yes, that's going to suit uh, more of the, the current crop of vapors rather than old dinosaurs like myself. But uh, this, the flavor, the airflow, just, it's just as good as, as many other expensive RTAs I own. There is no shame to this whatsoever. Um, and I, I will say that it seems to excel at the mouth to lung. I'm going to open up this airflow just a little bit more. I believe this is the 1.2. This is number three. I'm sure it's 1.2 this one. Probably wrong, but... It feels like it. it's 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 like a loosish mouth to lung now. Or MTA as some people say. Uh, now cons. Uh, cons in this one? Very few. Um, obviously these little discs, the same as any other RTA or RDA, they're, they're bits. It's not the kind of thing you're going to carry about with you. Uh, you'll lose them if you do that. Um, 
But on the on the go, you now have two options, whereas normally you would only have the one. So I do like that. But the, yes, that's a con. Little bits always get lost on the shed floor. Uh, the filling mechanism works great. Uh, obviously, once again, with the, the supplied drip tips, the mouth to lung, direct lung, um, you, you, they've got that little security tab in the bottom of them. Uh, so you have to take the drip tip off to fill. It's not a negative as such. I do find that the, the bung that's inside there, whilst I don't get any leaks or anything like that, sometimes if you're using too fat uh, a nozzle on your juice bottle, it will lift out. It's quite easy to lift out, so you have to push it back in. Not a major con as such, but it's just something I have to mention. Uh, looks are... God, it's hideous with the bubble tank. Uh, but that's just personal taste. I don't like bubble tanks. I really don't. Uh, it's quite a classy looking tank with a two mil. Uh, I do like it. I, I think it's quite, a, a, you know, even on a, a laddie posh, laddie da mod, it kind of holds its own there. There's no shame to that whatsoever. And after that, I'm, I'm really struggling to, I mean, they give you two coils with it. I wish I knew what material it was that came with it, but you, what did I say? Was it 0 0.7 and a 1.2 ohm? So a mouth to lung and a restricted direct lung coil. Um, I can, you know, I can run this with a 3 mil inner diameter coil or a 2.5. It's easy to put a build in, it's easy to fill, it's easy to adjust the airflow. It's a simple little RTA with a nice little trick feature with the turntable and I love the vape from it and and I love it when cheap stuff is good um, and this is good. I'm not sure if it's going to come out in different colours, rainbow. I, I, I don't know if it'll come in gunmetal, black, gold and all that kind of stuff, I really don't. Uh, but in silver it's just nice and classy and and that's it that's all I've got for you on the MD which kind of gets a two thumbs up from me job well done um, to you guys thank you very much to Hellvape thank you very much for sending this on and until next time bye for now